morning, everyone. Just so you know, the pillow that I sleep on is different from the rest of the pillows on my bed because this is a satin pillowcase, so it's better for my her. But anyway, um, let's get the morning started. All this stuff is on my bed. I didn't clean it up, so I'm just gonna do that right now. So yes, she is the only different colored pillow. It doesn't match, but it's fine because she keeps the hair safe. We like her. Okay, so I start every morning while I look like I just woke up. Um, so I start off every morning with a probiotic supplement. And these are the type of probiotics that I use. I use the Glow Inner Beauty Powder by The Beauty Chef. You can buy this at Sephora. This tastes like acai or like berries or something like that. Like it tastes actually really good. And I found out that I really like the way it tastes with coconut water. I think it like this combination is really nice. So I just take like one teaspoon of it, like that much. This is the best coconut water, by the way. Um, Harmless Harvest coconut water. The best tasting coconut water in the world. All right, now I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm just gonna add some fruits that I cut up. And I will usually just eat my breakfast here at my table. These aren't really placemats, these are like um, those bamboo uh, like sushi roller things, but I use them as placemats because I just, I don't know, I think they're cute. I normally have my laptop right here to like check Pinterest and like catch up on emails and things like that. Oh, I forgot to mention that I also drink water when I wake up, but I like already drank water before I started filming, so I just wanted to let you guys know. And now I'm gonna write my journal. So basically when I write in my journal, I write two full pages, so I write like front and back, and I literally just write whatever is on my mind. Like literally whatever comes up in this next hour is what I'm gonna write about, basically. Now it's yoga time. And I just do yoga at home. I do yoga with Adrienne on YouTube. I just like, I have a smart TV, so I just like put her videos on my TV and then I just do it right in front of the TV because it's easy. And you know what? This is the first one on my recommended, so I think I'm gonna do this one. What's up everyone? Good morning and welcome to Yoga with Adrienne. I'm gonna go right into cat cow, so you'll drop the belly and over the chest. And then you'll round through spinal flexion, chin to chest, and your little jaws up. Well, that was amazing. I forget how great yoga is. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Oh, I saw my pimple patch on my face. Hmm. All right, we are now in the worst place in my apartment for lighting. That's why I never film skincare videos in here. But um, I'm gonna do my skincare routine real quick. First things first, I'm gonna take out this um, Theme for fetch. Oh wow, that went down a lot. Okay, so I just got a bunch of new skincare stuff from my esthetician, but I just wanted to show you guys um, what I was using before. Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser by Crave Beauty. And then I would also use my um, Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum. I have that in the fridge. I don't know how I feel about that serum. I've used better Vitamin C serums. 
that were cheaper. But after I applied the vitamin C serum, I would go in with the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel, and then I would lock it all in with the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. But today, since I have new skincare products, um, I'm gonna do that. So I, ooh, I got a 2% salicylic acid wash from my esthetician, and this is gonna help um, kill acne bacteria because I've been breaking out a lot lately. Ooh, this smells very pharmaceutical. <laughs> oh, that was just a sample, by the way. She has like the full size versions, but I just got the sample because I wasn't sure if I wanted it or not. So this is my first time using it. And then while my face is still a little damp, I'm gonna go in with a hyaluronic acid serum. This is the Ultra Hydration Serum by Tracy Hudson. This is my esthetician. I'll leave all of her information in the description box down below if you're in the LA area. Even if you're not in LA, you can still order her products online. This video is not sponsored. Um, I just really love her. And she's a black owned business, so that is also awesome. I know, she, she told me to do six drops, but I kind of just drop it all over my face. <laughs> and this is like way hydrating than the Drunk Elephant one. I don't think the Drunk Elephant one has hyaluronic acid in it. I think that's why. Uh, the Drunk Elephant one has like vitamin B5 and like pineapple ceramides, but this actually has hyaluronic acid in it. And patting things into the skin just helps it absorb better. There's so many people that comment on my videos telling me like how great it is to see someone who is like confident in their chubby cheeks, but like I've never had any insecurities about my cheeks. Like I've always loved my cheeks. I don't know who's making y'all feel insecure, but um, we're gonna look young forever. <laughs> Both of my parents have like chubby cheeks and they got carded for alcohol until they were 40. So do with that information what you will. Wow, my face feels so hydrated. And then I'm gonna go in with her moisturizer as well. This is the Lux Light Moisturizer. Um, this includes a bunch of antioxidants. It has um, aloe vera gel, it has glycerin, squalene, which is really cool, COQ10, which I actually don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but um, it's an antioxidant. And then it also has uh, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. This is like a pharmaceutical grade um, moisturizer. So it does a lot more than what you get at Sephora. It has a lot of brightening ingredients, which, which is great if you have like sun damage and hyperpigmentation. Again, this is like my second time using this. I used this last night and this is my second time using it. So like, can't give you like a full review, but I love the way that this feels on the skin. Um, one thing that I didn't like about the Drunk Elephant moisturizer, I did like that moisturizer, but the finish was so greasy. I feel like that's really great if you have dry skin or combination skin. It's not an ideal finish for people who have visible pores. Like you can see my pores, which was not great. All right, and then I'm gonna use an eye cream. This is the Drunk Elephant C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. This is also a product from Tracy. Um, this is the Protect Me Sunscreen. This is SPF 50. Um, Tracy is a black esthetician, so I really trusted her sunscreen. I, I trusted that her sunscreen wouldn't give me white cast. So it is like a little bit tinted. It's not completely white. It contains micronized um, zinc oxide. So zinc is a white mineral. And so that's why it tends to give people white cast. So what I like about this sunscreen is that it is a micronized zinc oxide. So it doesn't give you as much of like a white cast. You know what I'm saying? And it's also like a little bit tinted, which is really cool. The next thing I'm gonna do is my Derma E Tea Tree and Vitamin E Oil. You've probably heard this many times before. I have a skin disorder called Malassezia Folliculitis, and it's basically fungal acne. I'm sure you've heard of it before. Some people have it on their, on their face. So if you have issues with like tiny bumps on your face and no acne medication is getting rid of it, it's possible that you have Malassezia Folliculitis. I don't have that on my face, but I have it on my upper body. So I have it on my neck as well as my shoulders and my um, chest. It is like almost completely gone now. As you can see, there is still a little bit of like post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, but um, it's almost completely eradicated. And it started going away, I noticed, when I started using this product 
and also when I started taking probiotics. So like these two in combination with each other really helped clear all of that up. So now I can wear things like this again. Um, but basically what I do is I take a little bit of this and I don't put it on my full body, I just put it on my neck. Tea tree oil is um, antibacterial, but it's also antifungal. So Malassezia is a fungus and there are a lot of body creams and a lot of body products that contain ingredients that feed Malassezia. Um, and that's why I was breaking out. So once I started taking probiotics and using tea tree oil, kind of like fought against that fungus. And then the lip balm that I've been using lately, I've been using two. I've been using the Drunk Elephant one and also the Lips Super Balm by Go To Skincare. This is an Australian brand, but they sell it at Sephora. Oh, someone's calling me, but I'm filming a video. <laughs> Don't bother me, I'm doing my skincare routine. This contains lanolin, which is an inclusive ingredient. So it keeps um, moisture locked in and creates like a barrier uh, between your lips and the outside environment. So you're in good hands. Okay, now I'm gonna change my clothes and because I'm not really leaving my house today, like I'm literally just gonna edit a video, prepare for tomorrow um, and like do the laundry. Um, I'm just gonna change into like some loungewear. Like I'm not, like it's not that serious. You know what I'm saying? All right, I think I'm just gonna wear my Calvin Klein um, little thing. I'm gonna wear my Everlane v-neck shirt because it's cotton and it's very breathable and then i'll probably just wear some sweatpants because it's um it's cold out in these streets boom don't mind the mess back here actually don't mind uh my mess of a life either so now i usually like to read a book i'm currently reading you are a badass at making money by jen sincero but I also wanted to mention this book. This is my favorite nonfiction book, and it was also super easy to read because it was so empowering. This one, on the other hand, I'm having a difficult time trying to get through it, I think because it just makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm learning from this book um, that money is a, it's a neutral resource. Like it's neither good nor bad. It's the value that we place on money and the people who have money that do either good or bad things is really what it's all about. Money itself is neither good nor bad. Sometimes we're taught that like money is the root of all evil. Different families have different perceptions of money and this is just like breaking all of that down and just, I don't know. I really enjoy it so far, but it, it just makes me uncomfortable. So I'm gonna just try to get through a couple of chapters today. <laughs> and this is the area of my bedroom where I like to read because it's right next to a window. So the light is coming directly onto this space. Um, this is my love sack. My brother gave this to me. So shout out to my bro. <laughs> it's just like a wonderful, wonderful reading situation because you can literally just, ugh. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. But anyway, I don't know if you can like hear all this noise outside. Um, my apartment complex is doing a bunch of renovations to the building. And so they have like all these machines running outside at all hours of the day. So when I read my book, maybe this is a little extra, I don't know, but it's really annoying. I usually take out my noise cancellation headphones. These are a must if you travel a lot or like go to a coffee shop to write an essay. These are like really awesome in my opinion, especially if you're an introvert. <laughs> but I usually just put these on, it cancels the noise outside. I connect it to my phone and I play like a spa music playlist. So I'm like totally zenned out. Ooh, I cannot hear a damn thing. I can barely hear myself talk. In the meditation category on Spotify, they have meditation music. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Peaceful spa. So now I'm just gonna read my book. So I just realized that I forgot to brush my teeth, so I'm gonna do that right now, but that is basically my morning routine. It's not anything too extravagant or anything. It's just things that I like to do in the morning to like keep myself productive for the rest of the day. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.